What you looking at? It's a new background. That's my favorite part of it. Sartage just peeking out from behind you. <laughs> Welcome back to our Stupid Reactions Idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us Instagram. Instagram. Twitter. Twitter. For more juicy content. It's so juicy. <sighs> Thank you for us on Patreon. Follow us on official Twitter account today. Uh, we were reacting to an old trailer. Oh, it's time for an old trailer. I don't know if there'll be so, I mean, uh, narration. It's possible. In the time that land forgot. It's called Chini. Chini Kum, right? That's pretty easy. Not close enough for hand grenades. Is that how you pronounce it? Chini Kum? I would say it's Chini Kum. Chini Kum. Chini Kum. I believe it has Big B. Hey, I know that guy. You were, you were born the same year? No. I was born way before Big B. I was before, I was born before uh, there were even letters in the alphabet. We didn't call him Big B, we just called him Big B. I don't think anybody was born before Big B. He's old. He's like Dumbledore. He'd make a great Dumbledore. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Is it ready now? I knew it. I was literally, I was just gonna say we're on a time crunch, Corbin. They're coming to work on your house. Here we go. Yeah, this looks like it's got a narration. I mean, right? Instantly interested. Yeah. Instantly to watch them work together. And I love the idea of Big B as a chef of a 
like a really and they're playing nice... they're playing the age gap yep. between the these two. Yeah, I mean, I, as that father of that girl, I'd be more intimidated of Big B, <laughs> right? I mean, he yeah, he has the power in that one. I'm I'm definitely interested. Looks in like watching it has some good humor. Good humor. I'm interested to see how they portray and what goes on because all cultures, India included, have a thing about age gap. Yeah. Um. So. I'm really interested. Yeah, I want to. The only downside was the trailer, but you know, you yeah. can't fault it for that. I'm not gonna fault it. And for it was that. it wasn't bad. No. Uh, but you know, obviously it wasn't the greatest trailer because it was one grainy, and then it had you know yep. some cheesy narration and yep. music behind it. But yep. um, you know, it's hard to not like a film that you got Big B and yeah. There's actually a film that's it's a similar chef story, but not of the marriage. Part, I guess it's with um, what's the director of the Avengers um, John Favreau yes oh I wanted to see that film the, whatever the sh uh, yeah I it, got, it, it got really good it was, it's really good Is it? you should watch it yeah I want uh, to. it's really good um, so it's like a, it's not a, a like a marriage story okay. per se but it's about the chef and him dealing with single life and kids and his job and all this kind of stuff. Uh, it's really, really good. I would definitely recommend it. I, you have to really be, it has to be a really awful script and an awful director to make Big B and Taboo not do good work. So I can't imagine this so, isn't good. So as always, let us know how it was. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, it's, it, yeah, and I'm particularly interested I'm in, sure it didn't do good at the box office. It doesn't look like one of those films that right. would do amazing. No, but um, I'm sure you had the, the whole Taboo and Big B arsenal of fans that would go out just to see it because they're in it like I would. Yeah. An egotistical 64-year-old chef and confirmed bachelor falls for a woman 30 years his junior. 30 years, so she'd be what, 34? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 34 and 64. I, I can it. do math. I loved. I love that he said to her, old and she said young <laughs> i love that uh and, directed by that's not the director of english for english because that's a woman correct no it looks like probably a writer producer is somewhere involved in english of english they're in some involved in some way and, pa, pa and yeah. deers and doggy yeah uh with srk looks like that guy wrote it as well uh let me see it says taboo after the wedding i'm just trying to see if anybody else is in it that we know yeah i mean it looks really I hate the box office thing because it's, it's it, never it, accurate because it, it does it in U.S. dollars. Yeah, and so it doesn't look like yeah. it did well. Yeah, uh, maybe it didn't. But uh, in Denmark, it released in May twenty fifth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thanks for that tidbit of information, <laughs> IMDb. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, a different role than we've seen. I don't have we seen him in like a. This is almost a romantic comedy. It looks like it's 100% a rom-com. Right? Yep. 100% a rom-com. I love him being cast as like the an The thing we saw was English English with him. Correct. Right? Yes. Which he did great. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah, was that little was, cameo was fantastic. Sorry, spoiler if you haven't seen English Yeah, sorry. Right. Go Oops. see English English, you um, idiot. <laughs> he, he, he's absolutely believable immediately as a chef of a restaurant that's like high-end. I love... The prospect of them working together. I'm most interested for a lot of reasons to watch how the age gap is portrayed here in the story, uh, which it wasn't touched on as much in Lunchbox, but it was there in a yeah. really, really precious way. Yeah. From uh, if you haven't seen Lunchbox, please watch that movie. And I'm really, I'm just crazy, crazy interested in this uh, love story with an age gap from these two people who. And oh my goodness, that proposal, guys, <laughs> and gals, because gals propose too. Don't don't ever use that sentence as your line to no. be, to, to, to yeah no. That's it was fine. interesting though because it was making commentary on what you know a lot of people think that yeah, yeah. Uh, men are like oh, I don't propose so I can have sex with you and I'm like fine I'll have sex with you but you have to marry me like that obviously that shouldn't be how it is no and obviously it's not for everyone but mm -hmm. a lot of people that aren't in like real like love relationships feel that way i feel 100 percent. Right? like um <laughs> well and there's there's a that's couple a terrible of, way to feel but. there's a couple of aspects about this culturally that i'm really interested to see because i know that there's still a very these two issues the issue of arranged marriages versus love marriages people fall into both camps and they're extraordinarily uh emotional about it mm. in india in, re in regard to there are some in the camp of it should only be arranged marriages and love marriages are a hoax and a lie. I can tell you that that's not true. I know. 
I can absolutely tell you that's not true. So anyway, sorry, go on. sorry to tell you. <laughs> uh, and then there are there are those, and there's also people caught in the middle. I've I've gotten a lot of messages from people recently because mm -hmm. of Indrani and I, is saying uh, there have been some sad ones. There's been incredibly encouraging ones of people who have long distance relationships or mm -hmm. have an age difference relationship, and yeah. they've just said go for it, love you, and that's been the majority of them. But there's been some who've been uh, ours didn't work out because of family pressures. And we, we chose to choose family over our relationship. That's and, yeah. That, and that that's common, and that's not just a common thing in India. That's a common thing that happens here, where you have two families that don't want the people together who love each other. Yeah, I'm I'm thankful that both my family. I mean, I have three families actually. Yeah, you do. I don't do. you? I have uh, my mother's family, my yep. father's family, my stepfather's family, and my step. So four families. Sorry. Right. Yeah. For my stepmother's family. Yeah. All of them get along, which is great. I have one of the, uh, divorce worked out great for me. Uh, <laughs> That's a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> because I love all my step parents. I love, you know, so it's, uh, it's one of those things. But yeah, I, especially in India, I feel like it's heightened. I know it happens here some, uh, but it's not as heightened, I feel. It's not is, as uh, deeply unrooted in culture. Uh, it, it's some of, sometimes it is. There are some crazy families here. Like, yeah, but it's not as families. deeply enculturated. I mean, there's some. Just some that feel like it. it's an embarrassment to the family. You know? Hugely. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, and then there's parts of the world where you get, legit like yeah. honor killings. We've seen documentaries about that. And the other thing as well is there are people on complete opposite ends of the spectrum who, and I, trust me, I don't get this one bit, the age difference thing of, because I, I mentioned this to somebody in a comment, they, they mentioned something about age difference and I said, yeah, because whenever someone asks someone else out on a date, the first thing they should ask for is their birth certificate because nothing else is more important than your biological age. Don't you agree? Yes, of course, 100%. Uh, tongue placed firmly in cheek. I'm interested <laughs> to see what this does, and my suspicion will be is that this is going to, and I, I hope, is that age is a number. There, I, I know 50-year-olds who are extraordinarily immature, and I wouldn't have a conversation with them because they can't think, and they're not emotionally solvent, and they're not experienced, and they haven't gone through suffering. I know one of those, too. Yeah. <laughs> and... <laughs> Then there are people I've, I've met and know who are in their 20s and they have more wisdom and more life experience than anybody in their 60s. So I agree. Bi biology, you're, you're, <laughs> you actually fall into that category, man. Uh, biology my, my, like, means nothing. My mother and stepfather are 10 or 11 years apart mm -hmm. in age. My mother being elder. Ashley and her are eleven. Yeah, eleven years apart, and so like it's it's just something that like it, yeah, it I've never. I've, it's never. I've no, never I'm understood. quite interested. Obviously, we love Big B. We love Taboo. She's probably one of our favorites. One of my favorites of all time, and partly because I've actually she Taboo and Irfan were the two actors out of India that we already knew of before we got exposed because we've seen them in small roles here in the yeah. United States. Yeah, not knowing they were legends, obviously. Yeah. But yeah, I so want to see this. Let us know how this so ends uh, this. down in the comment section below. Headphone users, so sorry if he doesn't edit the sound and lower it there. I am so sorry. I'm gonna heighten. We're gonna. I'm gonna heighten the sound. <laughs>